to uh, thank my friends and family for uh, you know all the support over the years and uh, you know I really appreciate the uh, the Yankees organization and this time Bernard family for um, you know giving me the opportunity to play here uh, for seven more years uh, I'm truly grateful for it and uh, you know I appreciate appreciate that uh, you know also like to give a shout out to um, one of my mentors, Tori Hunter, for being to believe in me and get me started on the right track um, toward becoming a better player. Um, you know, to for him, you know, I owe a lot to. Him. Yeah, ready to go. What's going on, YouTube? This is Joe's McFly hitting you up with a reaction to Aaron Hicks's new deal. Yankees and Aaron Hicks have come to an agreement to seven years, $70 million. You know, posted the breaking news online and there's been some kind of mixed reaction. You know, some people love it, some people love the deal, some people are confused about it, some people are saying, why would you give him seven years? It's too long of a time. Some people are saying, oh man, this is a bad deal for Hicks. Listen, let's talk about that. First thing that I'll say, this is a great deal for the New York Yankees. This is the breakdown actually for Aaron Hicks's deal. This is reported by Joel Sherman. So it's a $2 million signing bonus, and then he gets $6 million in 2019. In 2020 through 2023, he gets 10.5 million, and between 2024 through 2025, he gets 9.5 million. 2026, and this is probably what I think should be the best part of the deal, and why people shouldn't complain about the length of the deal. Year seven is a Yankee team option. A Yankee team option for 12.5 million. And if the Yankees choose, they can also have a $1 million buyout. Also, he does not have a no trade clause. If he is traded, if Hicks is traded, he gets a $1 million trade kicker in there. So it's a good deal all around. How can you be upset about the Yankees getting basically a six year guaranteed deal through age 35? And if he's productive by that time and he's doing really well, Yankees just easily pick up the option and take Hicks for another year and able to keep him. How are you upset about this? I think this is a good deal for both sides. Like I said, it gives you that security on, on you know, for the Yankees. And not only that, but it kind of makes kind of interesting. The Yankees can also use um, Florial as some sort of trade bait now to get a pitcher. So a lot of things can be able to happen right now. I think this is pretty exciting. Uh, they, uh, John Heyman also reported that the Yankees are also working in extension with Dellen Betances, which I love, because then that means that your bullpen, your dominant bullpen is locked up for years to come. I love this. I love that the Yankees are working extensions, man. Being able to get a guy who had about a 4.7 war, who's the second best center fielder in the American League for six 70 million dollars over seven years is a great buy for the Yankees. For a guy like Hicks, it provides security. It gives him the assurance that he knows that he has that guaranteed money there. Brett Gardner, I'll talk about Brett Gardner first, who almost got the same amount of money that Hicks did. Now Hicks is a much better player. He's a more productive player than Brett Gardner is right now, but the players are looking at the free agency right now and are saying, I don't want to deal with that shit. A player like Hicks hitting free agency might be more expensive than you might want to do. There is a guy on the same roster, Jacoby Ellsbury, who Ellsbury got a seven year, $156 million deal, okay? And he had not shown the promise and that Hicks does, does he? So I think that this is a great deal here for the Yankees, this is a great deal for Hicks. It's a backloaded deal also. It's not a deal that's going to hamper you, you know, going forward where you're just like, oh man, I gotta get from up out of this contract. It's a pretty simple contract to get up out of if they have to, if the Yankees gotta eat half or you know, whatever. He's gonna be signed, you know, through his age 36 season. So he'll be 36 at the end of the deal. It's not a bad deal, guys. Not a bad deal. He's 29 years old right now. Ellsbury was a year older. And while we can all widely acknowledge, okay, seven years, $156 million for Jacoby Ellsbury is horrible. The, Yan the fact that the Yankees 
seen that and said, you know what, let's go ahead and deal with this now and we can get a discount by doing it. Why not, man? So I love this deal for the Yankees, love this deal for uh, for Hicks, man. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about this deal. How do you guys feel? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Who else do you want to see extended right now, man? Who else do you want to see extended? Do you want to extend Judge? Let's go ahead and extend Didi. What are we going to do with Gary Sanchez? What do you want to do? Who do you want to see? If you can see some players being extended, who else would you want to extend, man? If you haven't already, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Like I always say, man, make sure you do keep your pinstripes on, keep them strong, and let's go Yankees, man. Peace.